Hello everyone. Tricky method to divide by 10 and 100. So, when you are dividing by 10 and by 100, what is the tricky method? I'll explain you. So, here 2475. Let us write all the numbers. Let us write place value for all the numbers. 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000. 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000. 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000. 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000. Here also 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000. So now what is the trick? Now look at this 10. When you are dividing by 10, how many zeros are there in 10s? 1. How many zeros? 1, 0. So on dividing by 10, the digit at the 1's place, the digit at this, from this complete number, the digit at the 1's place will be your remainder. This 1's place will be your remainder. So what is the remainder? 8. Now the remaining number and the other digits, these remaining numbers, the other digits, 2, 4, 7, 247 up to here. This will, be, this will be your quotient. What will be your quotient? 247. So this is a shortcut, shortcut tricky way of doing multiplying, sorry dividing by 10 and same way 100 also. Same number will take 2478 divided by 100. Now look at 100. How many zeros are there in hundreds? 2. 1, 2. So this 1's, 10's place will be your remainder. So what will be the remainder? 78. And this remaining digits, the other digits 2 and 4 will be your quotient, quotient. So this is a tricky way of dividing by 10 and 100. So let us, let us do this. Now 5736 dividing by what? 10. So your 1's place will be your remainder and the other remaining digits are quotient. Now same way dividing by 10 means 1's place will be your remainder and the remaining digits are 229 are quotient. Now 5119 dividing by which number? 100. So these two places 1 and 9 is your remainder and 551 is quotient. Now 4281 so this 1 and 8 will be your remainder and 42 is your quotient. So this is a shortcut way of dividing by 10 and 100. Thanks for watching.